As many of you would agree, exploration is one of the most fascinating aspects Fallout 4 has to offer. As Bethesda stated, Fallout 4 is the most ambitious open world game to date, and the sheer scale is still staggering one and a half years later. Whether you're being irradiated to death in the glowing sea, stumbling upon crashed vehicles, exploring the not-so-friendly Covenant, or finding old world relics like the castle, there is an endless amount of intrigue and adventure to be found. However, there was something missing, something that had featured in previous games but failed to return in Fallout 4, and it is something very minor, but for me and I'm sure for others, had a massive impact. In both Fallout 3 and New Vegas, whenever you holstered any weapon, whether that be a fat man, sniper rifle or laser pistol, it immediately appeared on your back or on the hip. So when in third person, mainly whilst travelling the wastes, you not only got to see your awesome apparel, you also got to see your weapon. But for some reason Bethesda removed this feature in Fallout 4. Now obviously I don't know the exact answer to that, maybe it was due to the new armour mechanics being able to wear parts of armour over the top of outfits. Maybe they thought carrying a mini nuke launcher on your back was unrealistic, or maybe they ran out of time. Whatever the reason, it still doesn't make sense to me. Now in the vanilla game, when you holster a weapon, it magically disappears into your TARDIS backpack and when you draw your weapon, you summon it from the nether. And this I felt was A, more unrealistic, and B, made the back of the outfit seem bare and missing something. But fortunately, thanks to a combination of two mods, this is no longer an issue. And these are called Just Visible Holstered Weapons by Friffy and Visible Weapons by Registrator 2000. And yes, they are separate mods, but they rely on one another to operate. So let's start with Just Visible Holstered Weapons. And as the title states, this mod simply adds visible holstered weapons that you can equip like any other piece of armor. The different weapons, and there are a lot, can be crafted for very little at the chemistry workstation. So simply go along and at the bottom will be a menu called visible weapons. And you can simply choose what you want, such as a shotgun, laser rifle or plasma pistol. And don't worry, the fun doesn't stop there. You can equip more than one at one time. So for example, you can have a hunting rifle on your back and a laser pistol on your hip. Now for those of you who don't mind equipping your weapon in this manner, then stick with just this first mod. However, the one problem with this is because the visible weapon is classed as apparel, when you draw your pistol or rifle, it looks like you've duplicated it, as you now have it on your hip and in your hand. And this is where Visible Weapons by Registrator 2000 comes into play. So visible weapons acts as a framework for just visible holstered weapons and basically it adds a nice little holotape into the aid section of your pit boy and it is called visible weapons configuration and this allows you to replicate the animation of putting your weapon on your back or hip however a link must be made to do this make sure you have created the apparel version of the weapon at the chemistry station Next, equip the weapon you wish to appear on your back and make sure you have the apparel version of the weapon in your inventory, but not equipped. Then head over to Visible Weapons Configuration, click it and you will be greeted with this menu and you have a few options. So the first two menu options are fairly straightforward. To link the weapon, simply click Link Current Weapon. Then it will say, select the weapon model to link with the currently equipped weapon or reopen config to cancel. So click OK and then head over to your apparel version of the weapon and select it. It'll then say link complete and if you followed the previous steps this should be correct. So now when you exit out if you holster your weapon it'll appear on your back and if you equip it it will appear in your hands. Now as you can see I have both the hunting rifle and the laser pistol to work with visible weapons. So you can experiment with the different types of weapons you can have and have them link together. To unlink the weapon, make sure you have the weapon you wish to unlink equipped. So we've got the hunting rifle equipped. Then go back to your visible weapons config and click unlink current weapon. And there you are, the weapon is unlinked. So the third menu option is the holster mode and this is a bit more complicated than the rest. So at the moment it is set as default and basically default is if your current weapon is holstered first, so if you holster it first and then swapped out for another, the original will stay holstered. But if you swap it out when it's drawn, the new weapon will replace it either on your back or on your hip. 
So if you click it, it will then switch to the next mode. So we have always now. So always, weapons will always stay equipped on your body even when they're unequipped. So literally all the time they're going to be there unless you swap the weapon out. And then we've got strict. So strict is how Fallout 3 and New Vegas work. So only the weapons you have equipped will show on your back. And finally, we have persistent. So persistent is if you're using a pistol holster armor piece. So it's where you put your pistol in. When the weapon is drawn, the holster will stay on the hip or the back. And that is it. That's all you need to know. So both of these mods are very easy to install. Once you've clicked on the link in the description, you'll be greeted with their Nexus page. So we're going to do just visible holstered weapons first. So head over to the files and you'll notice there are some optional files. And these are just to change the melee slot. So if some of your armors conflict with one of your melee weapons, then it's probably a good idea to install one of these. However, all you need to do with this mod is click download with manager click continue with my download and then head over to your nexus mod manager double click the mod and it is installed once it has done it and there we are it is done so if you want to install this mod manually go back to the nexus page click download manually and just extract it to your data folder which i'm sure you know how to find so here we are at the visible weapons nexus page and again very very simple head over to the file section don't worry about these miscellaneous files, these are for mod authors, but if you are a mod author, you may want to check these out. I haven't read much into them. So click on download with manager again, continue with my download, head over to your Nexus mod manager, and it will be, mine's already installed, but double click it. And then once it's installed, that is that done as well. And similarly to the other mod, just click download manually and extract to your data folder. Right, so here we are at the crashed aeroplane site and we are going on a little third person adventure. So we're going to see if we can do this in third person. We haven't got Codsworth with us today, but we I have a funny suspicion that there may be some super mutants that need their butts kicking. So we'll see how we get on, shall we? Okay, let's do this. Now I have got, this is the, um, oh, I don't know if I can see one. Um, this is the Metal Gear Solid aiming, so when you aim in, in third person, it goes to first person, which is really cool. So I want to do a feature on this mod as well. Okay, let's... Um, oh my god, okay. Right, let's... Oh, okay, that sounds like... Oh no, it's, it's an exploding one. Right, if we take him out first... Okay, I'm going to go up here. Get a height advantage. Oh, ha. oh, ow. Oh, God's sake. Got an infection. One second. Where's my... Du -du -du -du. Antibiotics. Thank you. I'm now thirsty. Marvellous. I got... Nope. <laughs> I've got nothing to drink. I didn't come very prepared today. I think we could... Okay, we could take him out. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Okay. One down. One... Oh, level up. Nice. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, that sounds like a squirrel. Okay. Well, we've taken one down anyway, so. Let's see what we've got. I need something that I should have. See, this is. I'm on a fairly new playthrough, and if I get shot by, I've got a damage modifier on and other things like that. So if I get shot once, I'm probably going to die. Okay, is he the... No. The one over... over oh, okay. There's two down there. What what grenades have I got? Have I got... What grenades have I got on? Uh, oh, actually... Ah, I have got a nuclear grenade. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, slow motion. Throw it. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. Oh my, okay. <laughs> oh, oh my god, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Run, 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 run for your lives. Run for your lives. Run, 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 run for your lives. Okay, he's got, yeah, so three times damage. It's a lot. Oh my god, he's coming. Help, help. Oh, gotta shoot, gotta shoot, no. No. Yes, oh, he's gonna blow, he's gonna blow, he's gonna blow. Oh no. Do they not? I can't remember if they blow up. Squirrel pup, you're going down, squirrel. 
Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Run for the hills and far away, folks. <laughs> Quick. Okay. They're coming, they're coming. I need my rifle, I need my rifle. Okay, we were supposed to be at the aeroplane site, but the... One... Oh! Close. Nearly dead, nearly dead, nearly dead. Okay. It's getting dark. Might be able to lose them. Highly doubt it. Come on! No. Come on. He's running, he's running, he's reload, reload, reload. Yes! Nice! Got him! Uh. Oh, there's one more. I think that's him over there. Oh, somebody else is shooting at him. Can I kill him? No, come on. Where's my... I need my pistol. My pistol out. Look, see, look, there it is on my hip. Nice. I just I just love this matter. It's really, really... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> so close. Oh, no. I got distracted. I was trying to tell you about this awesome mod. No. <coughs> okay. Let's try again. Oh, okay. Uh, right. This was just before we threw the grenade at them. Okay, and made them very, very angry. Okay, let's see if we can do it again. Okay. Oh, where have they gone? They're no longer there. They're no longer there. Oh, they look, they're all in the middle now. Suckers! See ya, suckers! Ugh. Take one out whilst I can. Need to see the explosion. Yes! <laughs> okay, no, no, we missed them again. Nice. Oh, God, we're first person. Sorry about that. Okay. All right, let's see if we can... Oh, I no, I'm now I'm crippled. I should have brought some mines with me. Oh, do I have any mines? Uh... That's enough. I've got dynamite. That could that could that could work. That could work. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Stim 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 bug stim uh, Thank you. Heal instantly because this game's stupid. Uh, okay. Somebody definitely. Oh, okay, there he is. One of them definitely shot at me. Right. Okay, I wish I had the uh, the grenade arc in third person. Okay, there's three of them, throw the dynamite. See if you can throw it. Okay. Oh no. Okay, we got suicide. Okay. Come on. Okay, one down. Uh, oh no, I think. Oh no, we're gonna get, if we go down there, I think we're gonna get tapped by ghouls, which would not be good either. Okay. Okay, not the best place to hide, because they will just shoot this and I'll blow up. They're, oh, they're having, I think they're fighting with raiders or something. Uh, Come on, come on. Uh, okay. We got a stealth boy. Nope. Okay. We have drugs though. We can use drugs. Right. Come on. Right. I think they get. I think they're getting waylaid. So let's get the pistol out. Can I can see one. Oh. I've got a Molotov. I've got a Molotov. That will. Uh, fragmentation grenade. Good work. See ya. Oh, okay. Got one. Oh, they're all down there. They're getting waylaid by someone. Throw the, throw the grenade. Yes. Okay, no. I think it's a good job these guys aren't the greatest shooters in the world. Ow, ow, ow. Stim pack, stim pack. I need to set hotkeys to this. Oh, my God. Super stim pack, that'll do. Nice. This is That's from the Mojave Imports one. Okay, what other weapons have we got? We've got a big uh, machine gun we can... No, we have a pipe pistol. That's not good. Okay. Oh, God, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, no, this is a bad idea. Quick, get in the plane. Where is he, where is he? 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Okay, come on. Come on. Aha! Think you were smart, but I have my magical radar. Okay, get inside, we need our light on now. Reload, reload, reload. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, okay. Okay, sneaky sneaks. Okay, there's one. Okay. Is that them all? Did we get them? I hope so. I really wanted to do a third person playthrough, but I think it's just when it comes to looting right now, it's just, oh god, it's awkward. Okay, I think we may be clear of all weapons. Of all weapons, of all super mutants. Okay, yes, okay, nicely done. That was very eventful, I've got to say. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this mod highlight of visible weapons and just holstered visible weapons. Oh, that's a nest mod, uh, nest bunkers mod. Uh, but other than that, remember to like me on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter at RedheadGamer16. Remember to give a like, a thumbs up, or a comment, because we know how YouTube's ranking system works now. And I thank you all for watching, and I shall see you next time. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.